Oh. How's it going, everyone? This is Moshi Man and Sly here. We are live with All Star Game from Overwatch Pretenders, and it's going to be quite a night. We got some special rules down, and all of these people were voted in to be on the All Star team. So, you want to lay down the rules for us, Sly? Yes, I will. Well, so this is going to be the normal regular season format with the four maps going to the fifth map if necessary. Uh, what's special about this time is that there's going to be one hero ban per team. We're going to get to see hopefully some very interesting team comps with uh, these two hero bands banned for each map and after each map the uh, hero bands reset so it's not just one band for the whole series so possibly going to see some much more excitement than the goats we have been used to and i don't expect to see a lot of goats here looks like we're going to have a lucio and a zarya band for this first map on king's row all right so we got um two different teams uh they don't they haven't really named themselves but on the self-name group one team we have dork cryptic david nathan cypher and k boogie and oh wonderful we've got some inf great information that group two whose name is group two uh that's their team name has wombo combo or wimbo wombo whichever you desire, Costanza, Ronin, Pigdog, Silver Sax, and Jaharo on it. Uh, Ronin has said that his team is banning Lucio. And then we have Big Daddy Toop under the team Lunatic High, uh, who he, he's currently not going to play right now, it looks like, but he, they have banned Zarya. So Goats is off the table because <laughs> you have two, two missing so. pieces. And King's Row, good goats map. I mean, most maps you can run goats on, but King's Row especially is very good for it, especially on third point. Yeah, so I'll be King's interested Row. to see how this pans out. I wonder if there the next most would be dive, but the DPS there is at least always able to. So, so yeah, there. Yeah, dive sounds like a pretty good plan. Um. Let's see what they come up with because we're getting in game right now. now. Entering King's Row. Any guess? Maybe a double sniper? Possibly a double sniper. Uh, I mean, uh, well, they both they still have both shield tanks. Those aren't banned. Yeah. It's just gonna be grindy, I think. So Dive kinda wants Lucio sometimes, I think. Um, you know, you get in there with Lucio. And then you yeah i mean dive could still work because you don't have zarya and zarya is really important to ryan zarya so you zarya may see, a, you may see orissa hog may if an orissa contrasting with the diva as well because orissa diva is usually the tank comp for that with the tree house setup no zarya is just it's pretty big for this because you don't have that get out of jail free card in the bubble anymore you get ceased or whatever uh, right. uh, so we're going to be looking for the defense because uh, obviously they have first and it looks like they are going to have some form. Instead they're going to have a soldier on the high ground behind, I guess with the Zen and Ana. So it looks like they're going to split on the map evenly in a 3-3 group here. Yeah, we got Wombo swapping to Mercy and they look like they're trying to run um, tank. So group two who is on the right side here, red team from our perspective. They are attacking with potentially Bastion, but you know. I, I mean, cool. if you're running it with the Symmetra, that, that is the way to make the Bastion work. The Rhine with it is a little, little weird, but I know Pig Dog is very much a Rhine player, and usually not, but they are going to roll out with the Reinhardt. And let's see, I'm interested to see where they teleport up. I assume it's just going to be up top. <laughs> on top of the oh. statue here. My, but that soldier is... does have his eyes on the statue. As big charge coming in, that's gonna be immediately off and leaving the rest of the team on the bottom, not with a lot, is gonna let maybe overextend it a little bit too far into there because now advantage is slowly pushing onto comp against this against this defense that really doesn't have a lot of meat. 
It doesn't have a lot of meat, but it really, I think it's good because it's, uh, it's gonna be able to be liquid here. There's putting a lot of pressure on the point, and, you know, it doesn't look like Red Team, or Group 2, is is taking a ton of advantage of this. They are getting pushed back because they didn't have their main tank there to hold them on the point. And, and David was actually doing a lot of work distracting and, and assaulting their, their supports and their backline without that tank. So, so that made a lot of good space for the uh, Lunatic High to get on back onto the point. Yeah, it looks like the uh, more spread out fights has done Lunatic High here and near the end of that uh, group. Group 2 definitely played into that. So instead of doing the Symmetra, they're just going to swap over to the Widow and just walk the Bastion up to high ground, which is very doable on this map. Uh, they don't have a Lucio, so they can't exactly there, but the Diva is going to be able to enforce the Soldier into the low ground there. The big anti coming out into the uh, the ultimates. Here we got Winston and Genji both ulting. Nano coming out, taking out the whole team. Just Diva left, trying to get off and retreat. Takes it to the high ground. Uh, doesn't get demacked. Looks like she makes it out. Pretty safe. Demacked. That's kind of a big stagger there. Probably gonna just hit switch heroes. Get right back in the fight. Yeah. I would assume switch heroes with that, unless you were super close to ult, but that's just so be without the mech, and it looks like they are. I'm going to assume Jahara was pretty close to Diva Bomb there. Big Dog with a pretty big shatter onto the two main tanks, but is yeah. it's going to get tranced away. The Diva Bomb to zone out the group two, and the Bastion ult is kind of died to that Diva Bomb. Uh, Bastion ult did do something pretty key here, although you know it, it took out the soldier who was ulting behind the whole team. Um, although, you know, the, he just kind of died to the bomb anyways, but if that had gotten off, I think that would have been a lot more effective. Um, Lunatic High did have to spend all the rest of their ults to defend against that ult usage from Group 2, so if this is going to be any push to do it, it's got to be now. Yeah, and they got a good yeah, pick a... here. We have sights up from Adam, Winston on the high ground, followed by Winston and D.Va. Kind of a tank fight here, who gets anti-ed? Uh, and then we have the, the ultimate coming out from Mercy. That's going to push the other tanks here, and that's going to make some space on point. Are they going to push onto the point here? Wow, looks like they're choosing to dive their supports with the deep bomb there as a zone. Getting K Boogie. A bit of a sloppy fight right here. Not, and oh, it's the fight's lasted long enough for some ults to come back up this point. Silver Stack's getting slept in the back because Dork yeah. is going to not going to get that little bit more damage. And it's still kind of even, but the healing isn't here for Group 2 right now, so they're going to have to back up for one more final attempt at this. Notably, they do have one tick, which I think will give them the advantage here if they, if they have the ults. Uh, looks like they're going to have Soldier and Winston alt, potentially uh, D.Va and uh, Zenyatta ult. Oh, Pig Dog and Wimbo Wombo getting stuck up there with the angry monkey from Lunatic High. And they're going to be quickly taken out, making this a 64 to end the fight. And then the Nano Visor as well is just going to keep everyone off point from Group 2. And that's going to be a fairly convincing full group, group 1 or Lunatic High. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I mean, they had... It looked like they were about... They It looked like they were going to lose the first fight, but they backed off and just kind of waited, you know, and, and and Group 2 pushed into, or yeah, Lunatic High backed off, and Group 2 pushed kind of onto the point, but they didn't have their main tank again, so they weren't able to hold off David, and they weren't able to hold off just kind of spam. So they couldn't take advantage of their position, uh, and that's one of the things that Zarya is really good at, right? It keeps your Reinhardt alive, and, and that Graviton would have made a huge difference you also know, running to... Hanzo without Graviton, so. Yep, I'll also need to mention uh, just Lucio Speed Aura or Speed Boost would have helped a lot with that on being able to get into point faster, but going in a little bit slower, let the more dive-oriented comp from uh, Group 1 or Lunatic to really pick where they wanted to go, have a lot of time with it, and uh, pick apart all those attacks. Attackers incoming in yeah, seconds. I think, it was a, you know, it was good, it was good. Uh, is okay. That that that's that's the offense. That that comp's not real. The defense, however, <laughs> uh, running a Winston Hammond composition, maybe practicing a little bit after the Diva gets nerfed. But in addition to that, tracer. So doing much of the same. Uh, Lunatic High was 
doing, running these three that will go in and dive and keeping three back on the high ground. See how that works out for them. Yeah, it's really nice when you can have Hammond, Tracer, Winston all in at the same time. So here's Winston getting up on the high ground. He's, or not Winston, Hammond. Um, he dies pretty quick. He didn't have much support there from Anna. Should they stand? are choosing to run Far Mercy, though. Are and that unless Adam's able to take care of this, they don't really. Let's take a, a little bit more breathing room. As that's one less person shooting at him, but there's still a widow and a Torb on the other side, raining down terror from that high ground. Uh, Big dog gonna force them off a little bit, but they do have to stay on 36 percent to give. Yeah, they, they don't have too much time. Looks like they're taking a lot of space here. Mercy is just not being focused, even with this dive comp here. And that is the match. Quickly trounced. Group 2 it loses to Lunatic High in round 1. And now, uh, hero, hero bands reset. And we get to see what comes out next time. Uh, what, what was Kenji? Oh, yes. <laughs> Purple here. Uh, almost dies, but it's really difficult to uh, finish that low HP Genji off so many times during that. Genji won, Genji won, but no one can quite finish the job on him. It's always deceptive because he's so hard to He can be really hard to hit. And then with the nano, I think he had the nano at that point. Um, no, still. It's deceptively he takes, you know, a deceptive amount of damage uh, reduced. Uh, it looks like also uh, the losing team here, Group 2, will be choosing a King of the Hill map uh, since they lost. So they f they pick the first hero ban and they get to choose the map uh, right right off yes. the bat. So. Yes, and I don't believe the maps are just the limit pool that we've had so far. I could be wrong on that, but we could see some real uh, differences we have been playing on this whole overwatch pretender season yeah i i, I think it, i it's is it just from the whole map pool right i believe so because a uh, hybrid before was just uh numbani and, and hollywood if i'm remembering correctly and king's row was not part of that so this is they have all the maps to play with during this all-stars game well that's very exciting uh who do you think they are gonna ban here uh, which hero um, do you think Group Two can ban? Because you know, you know, some of their players are better on other things. I feel like they definitely need the Lucio, so they hope that doesn't get banned. I'd like to see them on the Lucio, have that speed to get them where they want to go and be a little more decisive in what they're doing. In terms of a ban, I don't know. Nothing specifically messed them up there. Maybe, like maybe a Widow ban, but that doesn't feel like. Uh, value ban unless they really felt like the offense was that bad but they had so many different problems on the offense there right yeah that was just a different different set of issues here um i really don't know i really don't, i feel like you ban some type of main heal or main tank i think and played how you want to play maybe get rid of the winston hmm what do you think about banning brigitte because brigitte is the heart and soul of goats but it also enables dive hugely. So if you and, if you think you're good against dive, and also like no one did play Brigitte that last match, despite it not being banned. So I think just taking out some part of the goats is enough to, for them to say, ah, let's let's just not play Brigitte either. Uh, yeah, it really throws a wrench in the works. I think having these these hero bands, it's interesting though. Uh, we have some swaps coming out from Lunatic High. We've got uh, Nathan going out, going in for Cryptic. Uh, it, or no, yeah, Nathan going out for Cryptic. And then we have Dork coming in for Elodian. And Elodian, as far as I know, is a Doomfist player, maybe? Potentially a Widowmaker, it looks like. Uh, he looks like he's generally just a DPS player. All right, so we will be Jiang. Uh, it's a pretty 
pretty versatile map in terms of what you can play. All three points have their different strengths and weaknesses. Uh, you think of the two, the you, when you think of comps, you think of the two extremes as being full dive and then goats. And all three maps run the gambit between this is the goats map, this is the dive map, and this one, you can really run whatever you want to. Right. We have Diva coming out as a ban okay. from Costanza. And then, so, you know, group two. And so without that defense matrix uh, protecting the dive, the dove targets or the Winston diving in, things are definitely going to blow up a lot faster. It would be expounded even more if the Zarya ban was done again. Mm -hmm. And of sure course, defense will... matrix is huge for uh, goats. So defense matrix just protects your reinhardt as he swings his hammer oh and look at this oh, we've Diva got a reinhardt Re ban on lunatic Diva Ryan ban okay so oh that's uh that you don't ever run orissa on lijong i don't think i've ever seen an orissa ever on lijong so <laughs> that just leaves winston and hammond as the I mean, main that's takes? good that can be really good I yeah, that's that's kind of the uh, it's the it's the budget Winston Diva dive, but still, that's uh, the squishies in the back line have uh, next to no peel now, uh, besides Zarya. a Zarya shield. Zarya Winston or Zarya Hammond is definitely a possibility. I think because I would you know you bubble the Winston, you bubble the Hammond, and then you follow up with with Zarya. It like you put pressure on the front line with. With Zarya, and then you put pressure on the back line with with Hammond or Winston, and I, I don't know, it kind of works, I think. Mm, I still think without and hmm, without the Rhein or Div, hmm, I feel like any of what you just said gets blown up by any amount of CC in the back for sure, because it was just the one tank diving, and I feel like we might see a Pope kind of comp, mm, like a Genji or like a Widow, maybe yeah, Farah Widow. I, w I wouldn't be surprised to see Rat on Control Center if we do get to that map. Right. I, I, I think Arissa might be powerful on... Uh, which one is it? Not Market and not Control Center. Garden. So, because, yeah, you have... Yeah, Garden. You have... Because you have the bridge and you can pull people off the bridge. So if they want to get cheeky and go Arissa Hog and just hold on the bridge, you know, you can just have a... Can uh, very distinct ways to go around that so that strat's kind of moot but it's a possibility it's to talk about on that map when that's very much so the dive map yeah right <laughs> all right i'm interested to see what these people start hovering in the seven seconds left on the loadout here it's map but there's no ryan and there's, there's no diva so maybe Orissa here, and it looks like neither team are going to be running the Orissa. So, all right. So, Group Two is hovering the Winston Hammond. We were we're talking both both teams hovering the Winston Hammond, as that's really the two tanks that tank left. We may end up with a pause here. One of the players on Group Two is away from their keyboard but that just gives us more time to talk about the comps that are coming out here it looks All like right. so as we predict we have winston hammond in. so it looks like both teams are going to be running the winston hammond that we predicted along with the lucio anna both of them have and it's just going to vary on the dps i don't know about the torb uh i hear it can be a little annoying on this map but i feel like i'm giving that a little more credit than it's worth uh the doom playing a very good doom fist is i'm excited to see that yeah, on this map is really good walls everywhere fist. yeah the walls everywhere to bash into yeah genji what would genji they pair with torb with feels fist. weird yeah that doesn't that that doesn't that just doesn't feel correct but hey i mean torb maybe you get the orissa in it as well hmm. i mean we still got five seconds it could just be a troll pick getting trolled by a low Poss possibly i mean doing? the turret is some type of peel for a possible dive on the anna in the back maybe i don't know i might be reaching here yeah yeah you know 
it, he might just be someone who can kind of hold hold the angles and catch off. Maybe maybe they predict the Doomfist here, and you know you know Torb Turret's not too bad against Doomfist, right? So true, true. And Hammond, you know, it just pings like the Hammond can't take out the turret and the player, and the slam takes so long. So if he doesn't know that that turret's there, you, you know, you never know, right? This is not pro level. So we're no, getting, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting a swap out here. Deserti is leaving and getting replaced by Adam, I think. Because even Costanza doesn't know what's happening. Wait, is the wait, it, hmm? will it unpause and they'll get into the game? Maybe yeah. I don't know. Yep, when when you can't actually like join. Okay. When the game is paused, so once you unpause, they'll be able to join the game, pick their hero, and it should be fine. All right. What's going to be? Just place your bet. What did you say? You cut out. What What's going to be paired with the Doom Fist? Place your bet. Tracer. Tracer? I mean, I'll, oh, no, I'll go. I'll go no, with no, you. Adam. Adam is a, I was, is a Genji. I was, was going to was, was gonna say Genji. <laughs> Definitely one of those two heroes for the more dive Genji and swapping off from the Hammond to the Zarya. So this is a fairly standard looking comp. Standard enough coming from a group two with the dive. Yeah, and, and I really like Zarya Genji. Like, bubbling Genji can be really powerful. And Earth. Hammond, oh, but the whole, all of Group 2 getting purple. Well, four of them. Now, see that but in the spectator. But the Sombra pick that we're coming out is going to pick up Silver Sacks. However, Costanza getting two and looking for a third on this Hammond is going to end up pushing him out. And it looks like Lunatic Eyes is out of this one. Yeah, definitely getting pushed back. The, the Doomfist just got a couple good picks there. And they got really scattered with the Hammond not providing them. You know exactly what they need. Each team continuing to fight, maybe a little bit too long at the end there. Uh, group two losing their Hammond initially, not Hammond, Winston initially, and then Lunatic High losing the Hammond once they had initial spawn advantage. So back, it cancels out, sets to a little bit of a neutral here. Yeah, we're just going to be at like the poke fight. This is, you know, this is how dive works. You know, you poke, you poke, you poke. Oh, there's an opportunity, let's go. And they're gonna try to fight it out here right at the choke. Stanza getting hacked out is going to keep him out of the fight for a little bit, but Silver Sacks getting the kill Sombra is gonna be absolutely big as that hack pressure is gonna be out, and that's really big for a lot of the heroes on group two. Yeah, definitely. You, you got Costanza here, Doomfist separating his Anna from the rest of the team, forcing him to pull back, just giving group two more time on the point. And you see that as soon as Costanza gets hacked there, he immediately dies. And the Genji Blade coming in just barely countered by the Lucio beat. Beats being traded out by both teams, but the EMP canceling out Group 2's beat is going to mean that I would think this point goes over to Group 1 here eventually. Just a matter of how long they can stall out. Committing grab to this, I don't quite know about that. They are going to get the Lucio off of it, but I think this is just 4 percentage. They, I don't yeah. think they're going to win this fight. Yeah, that definitely is a lost fight. Um, but Lucio, coming back to the point, they haven't capped yet. That's like a good 10-15% 10, 10, so far. They might put this into one fight range, depending on how long Lucio stalls here. Genji and Winston back as well. This fight going on for so long, the main tank not being here is... Blade is going to be able to pick up all these squishies, and it looks like in the most fight I have seen in a while, Group 2 is going to win, but not before uh, Lunatic High does manage to get back to point. Adam... You're going to get a little bit of healing just in time. Hammond's going to be trying to pick up some kills here, looks like. They've done a good job. This this is going to be one of those grindy fights, I have a feeling. But fights remember, Lunatic really High still has 99% left. So all they have to do is lose one fight, and then they're out of the running. So. And that is definitely the ending here. Wimbo Wombo's only getting tased down. And another EMP coming out on the ulting. Monkey is going to shut him down for a little bit on the Zari as well. going to shut her down. And a... a yeah, it's going like to go over. going to go here to Lunatic High. Uh, let's see how far they can take their percentage out. Those fights going on for so long that uh, three ults that were used in that fight are, are back up again for Lunatic High. And not 
for group two, but they do have the grab. Yeah, they do have the grab coming up, and grab alongside um, meteor strike can be pretty powerful. So group two got on the yeah. back line, but getting eliminated fairly uh, swiftly by David and the main tank. Getting there from from Lunatic High, very good. Jaharo throwing out the grab is going to get the beats, so not a not a wasted ult there. But they are throwing out Nano as well, thinking that this fight is still winnable as the main tank and Lucio do get back here. Nathan causing all sorts of havoc along with K Boogie back here is going to take out Silver Sex, and it looks like they're finally getting a very nice push, pushing uh, Group Two all the way back to spawn. Yeah, that's really key for the team there, you know, having dive all the way in spawn is exactly what you want. It puts them at the choke point, you know, Winston can't dive on you if you're sitting in a little hut. So it just just makes life easy. Jaharo, just, just a very charged Sorry, is gonna quickly take out the main healer for Lunatic High. Amber as well, all of a sudden, the Lunatic High is down three people. What Both happened The rest of the point, that just, Azari, it got through that they weren't ready for and back for that the rest of them got caught out from group two coming back from spawn and a very quick reversal is going to be group two taking a uh, control center uh, yeah that was interesting i think i think lunatic high might have pushed up a little too far uh and then you know they got caught out on the back because you saw winston get slept and you, you know you when your main tank is slept it can be if they properly focus him, it can be pretty difficult for you guys to recover because he has to die. It's just, it takes so much time. And, and Group 2 had plenty of alts to come in, take out a couple of people, and, you know, just, yeah. I feel like the Sombra didn't do quite enough. It was really good against the Lucio B, but in the end, I, I, I don't really know. I wasn't expecting once it. once it once it stopped getting the hacks on Costanza like it had been early in game, then it didn't do quite as much work. But going on to Garden, we are going to see the but thing is that one of the farmer seasides has a widow to back it up. They do, and you know they want to. They it seems like they predicted that the farmers would come out because it's pretty popular here. We had Costanza trying to dive on the back line there. Group two grouping up on on point. Jaharo looking for some kills on Elodian, but Costanza's gonna put pressure and just knock her right off. So, despite having the Widow advantage, there is going to pick up an ending kill on Farah. I would will get rezzed unless it is once over a pit. However, uh, Adam definitely on the ground that he needed to to help to, to win that fight first. But Hammond on point, immediately going to start contesting, causing a lot of annoyance for uh, Anna, and with the help of a Farah direct, uh, Silver Sax is going to go down, and it looks like this very... maybe an attack that was a little too fast for Group 2 as Adam was coming back from spawn after that late kill is going to them eventually, as soon as this Hammond that's rolling around on point gets taken care of, or is forced out. <laughs> Yeah, if you noticed, Adam switched to Widowmaker, and um, that's not going to help you immediately on your on your defensive hold on the point. You know, Widow has really great angles on the sides of the map, uh, but it can be hard for her to get right in there. And I don't know, maybe this switch was too early. Mm, possibly. Uh, I mean, they definitely didn't like running the Farah into the opposing Farah and Widow. So now they have the Widow, but it's kind of the Widow, but now you have a Farah and a Widow to worry about. So you're still kind of playing 2v1 here. Right, and, and both teams have Winston, so they can both dive on the, the Widow, as you saw there. Looks like the fight's going down here inside the house on the, on the, the right side of the map. Winston's just kind of yeah. taking people out and... No real super organized push here from Group 2. Not really a whole lot to talk about there. The Infrasites uh, early and just a, uh, a few Farah rockets taking out a lot of the squishy health. That's going to be that fight down. However, this fight looks a bit Main tanks are going in first. The Fudge is going to pick up behind that res for at any point in the fight. Point almost gets cat, but Boogie there on the Hammond just in time, and that is going to be another fight here, going to lose a point a little bit, so this is going to be some really unearned percent from... so it might, that might milk them out another fight here at the end. 
Yeah, every percent's worth it. Yeah, I don't think they use too many alts there, so. A good, a good 20%, you know. That's that's a, that's a lot more than they should have, and it's still going. The Genji dashing in right at the end. They are going to commit Valk to stalling here a little bit longer, and Costanza taking out the Mercy means this fight might be win winnable. With Nano Boosted Monkey taking out uh, Big Daddy on the Ana, and that's going to be this fight out of nowhere swinging towards Group 2, and what was a C9 has turned into a one fight with a lot of extra credit on the percent off of that C9, and also and group two is in a one more fight win scenario to take map two with only one alt <laughs> they do have only one alt left but the same can be said for lunatic high and uh group two is definitely closer to a little get the genji blade here pretty quickly in this fight there is nothing to counter it from lunatic high yeah nothing here nano comes out blade coming out couple of big alts. I, I think Elodian's going to try to back cap here along with Tracer. Uh, they may be able to cap and stall. Just kind of taking out the supports and the people that come to the point. Uh, here comes Winston right at the point. But here comes Group 2 again to meet them. They did a little bit before reaching challenging on that point. They sent the Mercy to stall it a little bit and she was very quickly taken care of. But the Hammond spinning around on point plus the Mines on the other side does look like he's going to clean up fight the trade right. into the mines is going to be quickly taken care of just cypher now stalling on the point and i don't think there's anyone else here near enough maybe the hammer not quite and that's going to be map two going over to group two and we've got ourselves a series map two group two it's time for them to shine what's a winston do any enviro kills part of this it's got to be enviro kills here no it's oh, not no. They just chase them all back. Area. Yep. Getting both of the supports here. Yep. All right. Well, so I think uh, that was that was where the Winston got hacked on the way back. So, despite the flashy alt, maybe, maybe. It's nice to feel well, uh, Do we have? 11. Do we have a half, half time? Do we have a half time? Well, we, we just... still have one more uh, map for on Li Zhang here. Oh, uh, no. All right, no. Uh, well, no more map on Li Zhang because so we're done. We're done with that. Wait, what we are. I thought I thought yep. uh, group two won first one or the, the second one only. But I guess I'm wrong. No, no, they did take that first point. I wouldn't blame you for forgetting that because it happened off of the Anna getting killed by Azaria after they had gotten pushed back to spawn. That final fight just being really weird in how it happened. Anyway, yeah, thank you for correcting. forward to 2CP. Looks like Lunatic High had this ready. They're going to pick Hanamura and banning the D.Va again. And it looks like an extra rule here is once a hero has been banned twice, they cannot be banned again. This is D.Va's second ban, so she will be open for map four when we get to that point. But I uh, don't have the ban out quite yet for group two. So the D.Va again. Uh, definitely seem to favor Group 2, at least from what we saw on Li Zhang. Maybe they just do the same bands as last time because they won with those two bands to get a second map to their name? Get the Reinhardt ban, maybe? Right, yeah. Well, you, said you, have, you said we have the D.Va ban, right? And then we, we're going to go to Hanamura. So, hmm. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm, I mean, I'm it's just sure. a matter of... if. They, if they want to run with the same bands, because they did win the last map with both those bands, but you could argue about how earned that map was with the last weird fight on Control Center and Nine and the point retake on Garden. So, well, was D.Va banned map one? No. D.Va was banned the second map. Now is the second banning of D.Va right now. For Hanamura, D.Va would be banned. And now she can't be banned anymore past past this. So, yeah, the Diva band's coming out. And um, that gave them quite the advantage. You know, they have to see which players are going to come in. Pig Dog, they know, who, who was not in last game, right? Plays a lot of Reinhardt. So maybe they are going to ban it again. Or, you know, I, not I, ban I, it. Yeah, they want I, him I, to play Ryan. I doubt the Ryan ban would come in now. So what do you... Ban. 
Mm-hmm. I guess probably like a support of like Anna or something. Possibly. I don't feel like they've been getting outplayed on or anything. Maybe been a DPS that they've been having problems with. So, well, uh, Costanza's not in, so they're probably not going to ban Doomfist. It's going to be a Sombra ban. All right. Who Who is it that was playing Sombra? Was it, it was Elodian, who is not playing this round, but... Sombra on Hanamura, definitely something that I don't see a whole lot of, but not wanting to deal with that hack, uh, especially... Oh, well, they don't have Costanza in this map either definitely susceptible to getting hacked uh doesn't look like it's going to be an issue here so try concerned with with the somber ban not seeing it maybe they just hate somber so much and they saw that, that lunatic high was willing to play it they just want to take it off the table they don't want to deal with that yeah it, it could just be like a garbage ban too you know it's like oh we don't really know who to ban so we'll just play some shield tanks on hanamura right and, and hope we don't get hacked um every ban counts but Maybe they're not really attached. They might want to run May or something on defense. And you never know. Maybe. We'll see. All right. So definitely have to look at the defense first. What uh, group one will we'll lunatic high will be. That's so weird that their division one and the. to go with group two. What was that? It's like you we'll cut out a little bit. High. Sorry. Planning is a little bit. Like, we got Division 1 and Division 2, so one team decided to be Group 2, but the other went, ah, let's be Lunatic High. <laughs> it's just a little weird calling that out. But you never regardless, know. yeah. Getting into, uh, well, the defense heroes have to pick first to roll out, so we won't be seeing too many troll picks. And Treehouse, definitely a comp that can be run on Hanamura first defense, and it looks like they will be running that out with a Bastion and a Soldier for the DPS slots. Oh, McCree. Serving yeah, somewhat of the yeah, same Yeah, we role. have Pulled Pork. We got the Pulled Pork combo with Arissa Hog, and uh, yeah, Bastion. Damage boost from Mercy. Um, probably some kind of dive flanky prevention with McCree. Maybe they're predicting Adam to be on Genji. Uh, I'm not sure. This is going to be very hard to get through with the D.Va ban. Not having the D.Va to defense matrix as you get on top of that Bastion is going to be absolutely big. I don't see Ryan Zarya really being able to contest that Bastion well. Be Hanzo trying to get some flank shots onto the school. Jeez, and I'm looking for a headshot here, but even then, the Mercy's there to res, so we'll see how well this might be a full hold I'm feeling. Yeah, it looks like we got a two two big kills right off the bat, and uh, you know Reinhardt going down and Adam going down. They are gonna try to hold here on like push the high ground kind of and walk around the point potentially. I don't know what Reinhardt's gonna do when he comes back though. I don't know what either. I... The Hanzo to get up there to get some of these different angles and cause some issues for the. So Hanzo's slowly going to be sneaking around. They definitely know where he is, and the Roadhog is going to immediately run over and try to get him. Hanzo, in a very tricky spot, is going to run all the way across, but is going to get gunned down by the Bastion as he tries to run across No Man's Land. So the Sombra would be pretty important here. Hack the hack the Bastion and push in, and, you know, just walk past the Bastion. Look it up right there. Just warp in, get the big EMP. That'd be huge. But they sell so not going to have that ability. Uh, they are, are going to be here, and that's that's going to be their way. Get, get them off the high ground by distracting them on point. How will be able to sur survive on this point? He's going to be able to run out, but not before. Dork is going to kill uh, the Junkrat, and the uh, group Lunatic High is just pulling this out. you having a very strong, a very hard time getting everyone to point. Yeah, we do have a Nano Zarya here trying to take the team alone. She grabs. Does she have support though? Here comes the trans. She's still alone. Do we have any reason that we wanted to see that? Maybe Jaharl here thought he had more support. Uh, the only one left alive is Ana. A lot of these grabs have definitely feel like they've been coming after, them. after yeah, the fight is over, two. right? Yeah. Yeah. Feel about Which that. is, you know, fine. It could just be lack of communication. This is definitely the first time these people have played together. 
So definitely not, you know, not super high expectations. Looks like the new strat here is teleport to the point. So I like let's it. See how this works. I will... Well, they can... and the Roadhog not being behind the Arista shield does mean that he's going to go down eventually. But not, but. Getting rezzed is going to be the punish. Mercy going down. Pig Dog with the charge onto the onto the Bastion as well means that this Symmetra strat is going to get them the point, and that is a great adaptation from Group Two to, yeah, to win that point that when great. they looked like they had no business winning that. Yeah, I mean they just rotated right around the Bastion. That was where all of their damage was, and they weren't able to react. Uh, Lunatic High was not able to react quickly. And, and now well, they have a counter symmetra here. We have dueling symmetras only in. Yeah, only in Hero Ban Overwatch Pretenders All Star Game. The Bastion being taken out ran a, a little way too far behind. The symmetric completely protecting on point. The grab as well is going to trap the supports of pop. Turrets being thrown down on the point, but splitting the point in half as ground you were going to hold is on the opposite side of the shield. It does mean that this is probably going to be point two going over to group two. The dash and ult not getting enough to contest, and it doesn't it will be able to get back in point in time despite Hammond's best efforts. And kind of a snow. I'd, I'd call that a snowball from uh, Group 2. Definitely a snowball. They took their momentum. You know, the Bastion comp needs that time to set up, right? Which they kind of had, but they they wedged their way in. They had the alts ready because they didn't use any alts on the first fight, right? And, and Lunatic High did. It just comes down to basic, you know, basic math at that point. So. Oh. So also we got Lunatic High calling out their Bastion for uh, falling off high ground somehow. Uh, def de definitely led to a little bit of that. Uh, the Bastion dying over at the lower Mega Health Pack was a was a little bit of a thonker. Toxic dude, what the heck are they thinking? Just having some good old fun off. The it looked like it was going to be a full hold, and all of a sudden they still have four thirteen left on attack. It's big. Big. Yeah, they, they must have, you know, they have the proper communication there to to do that. And, it's, you know, high quality team play. So it takes, it's takes like a lot of confidence to stride. say, takes a lot of confidence to say, hey, this isn't working. Let's, let's go Symmetra. <laughs> uh, not something you would hear in season one. That's for sure. Uh, we got some more kind of cheesy stuff coming out from the defense. Uh, group 2's flavor of cheese is going to be a May. May cheese, my favorite. Do we have the May coming out for Lunatic High as well? Is this the... Okay. My, they, my prediction gonna... is they're going to try to go high ground. They're going to try to boost high ground and then... Uh, that yep. appears to be what they're doing. Here they go, lining up. Uh, the Anna and Lucio left behind <laughs> means that they're going to abandon the... Uh, Lucio. So now the opposing wall is not going to get anyone. So, flop. Now we're into just a normal fight here. Uh, uh, <laughs> letting them get in. That wall is not terrible. That's a huge purple, though. The Zarya shield saving cryptic after quite down for both sides into a 4v4 now. Tick high losing their Anna is definitely big. Zarya is not going to be able to get a lot of healing here as the May actually slowly burns down the loose. This fire here from Lunatic High is definitely going to win them this. Yeah, Anna's just looking for some stall time here. Uh, 303 on the first point, you know, they're, they're going to take all their ticks they can. Uh, Pig Dog coming back, trying to look for a stall. I feel like I probably would have given it up at this point. Yeah, uh, Pig this, Dog is retreating. Uh, you got to get back to the point. I don't know why you're looking. I guess you're looking for. Uh, you're looking for Shatter here, barely going to get out. That's going to be the good old. And off of that, strangely enough, they're going to get Nano Blade for this defense. That'll be pretty important here, you know. May's going to have ult, so she's going to want to initiate with that. Kind of freeze the team up. Then they'll have Shatter. Then they'll have Nano, you know, and Grav. So a lot of ults coming out from both sides. There's the Nano Blade starting it up. What kind of protection do they have from 
Benjamin doesn't look like before it. Ryan's just gonna be forced to hold shield while purple and nano, and that's never. And that's going to be the defense snowball. Snowball prevented, and now you're feeling good. It's yeah, now you're ready. Now you're ready to hold this point for six minutes. <laughs> Well, as long as you can. The, the the snowball's the big part, and I think I think we're in for the long haul here on Hanamura. Oh, definitely. Hello. So they did use most of their snowball. Uh, they will have grab and beat coming in this next fight, but I don't know how how long they'll be able to survive this next fight when there's four ults just running straight on the point right now. Yeah, they definitely just have to dry push here as they are doing. The May ult comes out. Not really going to get anyone but Pig Dog. Keeps them off the point. Get their main tank, you know. That's a big stall, so they take one ult. Now Grav comes up. Here comes the beat. Probably trying to force another ult here. And then they beat into the Grav, or the Grav into the beat. Yeah, raising just the uh, point. Definitely just wanting to clean up for HP members on point, but Pig Dog being picked off into this fight, which the beat wanted to delay A4. Uh, Lucio is going to be taken down. That Cypher on point by a reset there, as that does eventually go over to group two as well. And I don't know, you ran into that with four ults, and you only use, well, you use two with the grab, but I feel like definitely more could have been he has her ult back up. That was a very prolonged fight. Yeah, I, I think the most important part for that would have been to kind of precisely decide what two or three ults you want to use. Like, you want to grab Freeze so they can't hold up their shield and grab and just swing your hammer, right? And that would have, you know, put a wedge in the plans here. Uh, but it's 4v4 four 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 again on ults. We got grab, we got Blizzard. Jaharo getting frozen, Toop getting into the grab here. Just cryptic on point, he goes down. Deserty taking out lots of people. Lucio just getting out at the skin of his teeth. Oh, he goes down. Opting to to counter the uh, Nano Really thinking that the Nano Blade again, she was going to get frozen in the blizzard, but with his last moments before getting frozen, he dashes through the stairwell and picks up uh, two kills and that fight fight is lost by that point. Yeah, definitely a hard choke to get through, especially in the face of a Nano Genji. You know, teams love to go this top right because it gives them a high ground advantage, but you have to walk through a very small hallway. They do it again saying, look, it was just it's the Nano Blade of Genji that did it last time. Let's go again. The Shatter blocked out when Pig Dog throws it out. The Charge is going to pick up a kill quite yet. Cryptic, very low on HP and purple. Is going to get nanoed and bubbled to save his life. Dork with the high noon and the beat, and this fight looks like it's going to be cleaned up in favor of Lunatic High very convincingly. Yeah, definitely, definitely a very good coordination there. You know, I, I don't know how they ended up really taking the high ground there. Um, they pushed up. They didn't use any any alts, right? They just kind of like bubbled, walked in, baited. They baited the shatter. That's what it was. Yeah. They baited the shatter, and and then. You know, and nothing happened. They they lost the fight. So, so they good will... coordination there from Lunatic High. Yes, uh, definitely to uh, uh, salvage that from being any worse than it was. They were already on lower time, and we'll cap it with three minutes. So, kind of back to uh, square one here a little bit. Group two having a minute advantage, but that isn't really a whole lot when snowballs are a thing. Yeah, welcome to 2CP, everyone's favorite game mode. Now available for $9.99. What's the final score we're going to see here? Three? Well, based off longer? the times, based off the times, right, you know, you got three minutes and four minutes. They could just take it. You know, group two could just take it um, with that with that long hold time. They could just end up with a full hold. I'm looking to see this get extended as long as possible. Well, not this map, but the whole All-Star game. You know, I want to see the teams play forever. So, based on the team comps, we got Widow. I think that if that Widow goes down, that takes a lot of pressure. I mean, how does the Widow go down other to either? Besides well, Hanzo. Hanzo. Yeah. Hanzo. It's got to be the Hanzo. Uh, Genji and to be a pretty big deterrent to this Maywall being able to 
jump around and get the firepower in there. The charge coming out on the Zarya while she's still bubbled means that Pig Dog couldn't get purple for it and punished a corpse running in there, swinging, getting a triple kill. The Hanzo does pick up the Widow, as we said, but it's after your team's already lost three. I think this fight is group two. Yeah, it is definitely over. We've got two tanks on point, Genji on point, and the entire of group two dead. So they're going to have to hold last, which is, you know, not uncommon. Two minutes left to do that for them. Tracer gets out, no problem. Let's see what they can do. Fortunately for them, that fight happened fast enough that the ult snowball isn't as bad as it could be. There is a little bit of a nano and a shatter possibly, and it looks like they are going to run it up top into this corridor, which could be countered by the dragon, and it looks like a dragon might not even be needed as the Genji goes down to a 1v1 from P30. Yeah, that's definitely going to stall their push. Um, Pig Dog has pushed up pretty far here. Hasn't really allowed them to get into the choke. Here's the Lucio speed boost coming in. Just kind of taking them by surprise. Takes Dork out, um, though, on the back line. Lucio low on health. Pig Dog fighting. Lucio Nano for the memes. Going in for the back line. Cryptic alone. Here's the grab with no follow-up here. The shatter. Pig Dog. I... I mean, this is just such a such a trading back and forth fight that's going to favor the defense every time. Yeah, so that, that spawn advantage one is one just huge. huge. Yeah, it's huge. If you can trade one for one as a defense, you're going to win the fight. What the story of that fight was, however, lots of ults coming up for the Mitsikai. Yeah, I don't even think dragons needed to be used there. He's back at 30%, and they've got grav and beat coming out, but... You know, that, that dragons could have been safer grab because no you definitely know that that you... Ludicai is going to use their ults here, just you like need... they did on their yeah. last push last time. Gork Ult's getting end. a good pick on Wim Wimbo Wombo, though. Uh, here comes the grab. That's Swing a big that. purple in the grab if they can get the damage. Fall. The Rhine very low is going to be taken out, so that's both main tanks down. This is going to be for uh, Lunatic High to clean up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that beat is just going to save them there. Uh, Lunatic High is going to be pushed back as the spawn advantage is just too great. That was good alt trading, I think, by Group 2, whether they realize it or not. And I don't know if you saw, but their Reinhardt Pig Dog here got slept uh, during the middle of the fight when he was trying to swing his hammer into that grab. So he's only at 30% on Shatter. Uh, we got Shatter coming out from Cryptic on Lunatic High, potentially Blade, depending on farm. And if the fight goes long enough, we may even see a Graviton. But Group 2 here is on the advantage. Let's see if they can combine their their, their uh, ults here. Yep. Oh, the Dragon right into the corridor. Doesn't pick up too much, though. They nano charge onto the Widow, but trading Sniper. Uh, Silver Sacks up here on the high ground is going to be forced down by the rest of Lunatic High coming up behind him. He's going to be taken out very quickly there. The Shatter coming in gets two. Uh, the Ana going down from the Tracer pick, so they might be able to stall this out long. The Focus Fire is there, though, for Lunatic High, taking out the two members on point, and it's four. They're going to be any sort of recontest. The overtime spawns being a huge deterrent for that. It doesn't look like they'll be able to get out in time. Anna oh. going to be taken out, trying to desperately stall. Maybe, oh, here comes three. This is going to be huge. They go for the grab, but they got shattered. Oh, there's some big kills. That grab was massive. Yep, having the ults ready for that quick recontest there, the grab blade is going to mean that they will cap this, thanks in part to the overtime spawn. I think it's cap and OT at the end of 2CP, but that's because once overtime, Time is in effect, your spawn timers are increased, so that's why it happens a lot. Now that's back over into Group 2's court, uh, they will have, have to complete that. Yeah, and, and they do have four minutes, so they have a whole nother minute more than Lunatic High, so let's see what they can do with that. You know, if, if you can imagine Group 2 having more time versus potentially the better team of Lunatic High. Ready. You know, you think they can do it because Lunatic High took all their time and they had, you know, five pushes. So if Group 2 can smother Lunatic High here on first point, and, and of course, 
Remember the snowball. Snowball into point two. You know, make that fight on first point last just long enough to get like a shatter, maybe a grab. Uh, we might see a quick, quick victory here. Uh, you never know. It like this Symmetra so much, they're gonna do it again. Yeah, I, I, they may be predicting the same, the same strat here. Remember, our hero bands are Sombra and Diva. Diva. Yep, Sombra and Diva. Symmetra Reaper for the DPS slots. I thought I'd never see the day. <laughs> <laughs> they might try to teleport Reaper there onto the back line. Take him, take out Lucio, you know, kind of put pressure there. Ooh, expertly baited out Maywall. Very much so. Uh, but the supports being the first two to go down, they were probably a little too far in front of their Reinhardt if that was the case. Actually, no, what happened was the Reinhardt got teleported in and the uh, supports were not there with the teleport as well. That's that's what yeah, that, That's unfortunate. <laughs> An unfortunate split of the team is going to easily in Lunatic Eye's favor. Yeah, um, a pretty good dry push. You know, you've got... You've got 40% on Shatter, and you have Adam switching to Farah. But if you look at the alts here on Lunatic High, uh, they just have so much more percentage, so many more numbers here. What, you know, what can they do to, you know, switch switch up their attack group two? Uh, well, uh, stick with the Symmetra. I mean, at some point, everyone's going to get through the tell tries to get it. Yeah, it's true. They did switch to the Bastion, so they may, you know, they're probably looking to teleport that Bastion. Uh, the Maywall making the teleporter a little bit awkward. It looks like they will be able to get in, but uh, not everyone in at the same time. A big purple in on both the Symmetra and Anna means that they will go to the rest of Group 2 doing a lot of work with this Bastion on point. He, he's not. Well, the Nano Zarya might be able to take him out. The Nano Zarya is so low. The Surdy going to live just barely and that's going to be point a going over yeah going over to group two here right and that bastion just kind of sat there oh i would say uncontested but they Definitely. had the rest of the team to worry about too yeah def i feel like the prioritization on the focus fire was not there for lunatic high so going into second point we all have a shattered tank uh we swapping to a double snipe to widow ash yeah, it looks like it looks like Bastion trying to put some pressure here. A grab coming out, uh, hitting Silver Sax and Pig Dog, two very important players. The Nano and Pig Dog. He charges the Anna, uh, who gets bubbled. Probably gonna take her out or at least force her out of position. She's very low health. It's cryptic. On point, getting healed by by Anna, but Pig Dog is definitely gonna go down here. Um, not really. Charge up shatter at this point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I believe that's just going hero swap yep uh over to Tr tracer hull snipe yes so just looking to we're gonna have a good old good old sniper duel here while the tanks just kind of bash heads at each other interesting you know it almost seems like they don't have enough time for that um they do have three alts though so maybe they're just looking to get a quick pick on anna or um you know on the opposing widow Deal some damage to Zarya. Kind of push in through there. They're going top right though, as per usual. Oh, that's going to be one sniper win for the Surdy. But uh, purple onto the Lucio is going to take him out. No beat is absolutely huge on that shutdown. The Nano on the Zarya just to clean up the fight, get her a little bit closer to Grav for what may be the final fight of this map. Yeah, the Shatter was really negated by that purple along with you know whatever else they did up there they weren't a lot they weren't able to heal they weren't able to take advantage of the shatter because they you know they were put to half health almost immediately and with 60 seconds it may be difficult for them to push into the final point here but the sniper duel may just decide that no one can hide well four ults to two now so <laughs> when any duel here. Bork barely trying to live. That's a purple on three, but the babe, all of them. Dueling grabs. Uh, they do get the shield up in time, but that is the Ana down. However, they are they can clean this up a little bit before any type of healing is needed. They might be able to win this. It's just Pig Dog trying to live against the Ryan. Need, sorry, needs help on point. 
fight has not been clean enough for Group 2 to win. Indeed, it hasn't. Just Jaharo left here. Yeah, Jaharo really needed weak. to get to the point a lot quicker there and to help out Reinhardt to kill the opposing Zarya. Um, one thing to note was, you know, the, the Bob used there on the high ground. They did kind of miss the team, and all they had to do was walk to the point. Um, but looks like it's going to go to Lunatic High. Winners. Oh, right. round three. Well, winning on their map pick thus far. So if this keeps up, we should be heading into a game five when group two wins on their map four, right? Wow, three big kills here, even inside the blizzard. <laughs> yeah, four. Uh, that was the that was the snowball prevention from that nano blade there. Uh, big play, play, but pull out in the end. Hmm, what's That's going one way to... to do it? Well, we got to go to a full payload map now. So, what do you? It's kind of hard to kind of hard to predict. There's so many options. Uh, they do stuff so far. I, I believe a new map of a payload that we haven't had in Overwatch Pretenders yet. Yeah, we we will see. Uh, so Diva can't be banned, so we will finally see her again, most likely for map four, as she is such an important hero in this current state of the game. So do you think that Group 2 uses that to their advantage. Did they ban a hero that counters D.Va? You know, Zarya gets through shields or through DM and or something like that. Like, what are we thinking? You know, they want to just run dives or don't want people to run dives. So they ban Winston or a DPS like Genji that can dive really easy. Uh, what are we, what do you think? Hmm. I'm not sure. I feel like we might ban the Winston. Play the Ryan if pig dog stays in here right yeah because you know pig dog is always on that ryan heart hmm. maybe the winston ban i don't see them banning any support out uh it hasn't really i don't think any support's really been a problem for them i don't think there's any been been a hero that's really specifically been a problem for them i think they just want to ban something that plays into what they want to play yeah, I, I think that is the most important thing because they can work around a ban for, from Lunatic High it, because Lunatic High doesn't necessarily know what their strat strategy is going to be just from one hero ban. You, you know, like they they ban, uh, you know, they they ban Symmetra or they ban Bastion, right? <laughs> like they don't they don't want to have Bastion on defense anymore because payload pirate ship or something right so we don't want to see pirate ship on that would junker be town. interesting yeah Pick the junker town and then ban a part of the pirate ship yeah so you'll probably uh, just have seen ryan zarya but yeah they do have costanza coming in so i assume we'll see the doom fist so there might be a uh somber ban yeah definitely a good possibility and, and, and you know you may even see the counter the counter pick in the doom fist ban I wouldn't be surprised to see the Doomfist ban either. Maybe double DPS ban? That would be interesting. It's like, all right, we want to play the Doomfist, so we'll ban the Sombra. Uh, we yeah. see what's coming. We'll ban the Doomfist. We'll... Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Crap. Now what do we do? I uh, won't. Well, uh, I guess that leaves all the GOATS heroes. Let's play GOAT. <laughs> oh, no. Because Sombra and Doomfist both stop GOATS to a certain degree. Yep. <sighs> Dive is supposed to be one of the bumps that count. So it is going to be the Winston ban, forcing them into the Rhine battle, as that was one of the possibilities of. So uh, this is yeah. maybe, maybe goats, maybe goats for the final map. Far. Mm, well, getting rid of goats or Rhine would disable goats, you know. And then once again, we're left into the, well, now there's no main tank. Oh, they what did ban Zarya. They have banned right. Zarya. Okay, so Ryan Diva definitely look like the tank duo for this, unless they want to run some type of... You could run pirate ship on Dorado. Yeah. 
they're set moving, it up with the, where the, the map is Dorado. Plays. We didn't mention yep. that, but the map they're oh, moving yep, to yep, is yep. Dorado. Um, Zarya Band and Winston Band. So no dive, main tank dive, right? No Zarya. So no Gravitons. So That is two bands on Zarya, so this is the last band for Zarya if it does go to map 5. I might, there might be a pirate ship. I I would not be, I'd say there is a high chance of a pirate ship. I agree. <laughs> We've seen Bastion many rounds so far. And, and, you know, banning shield tanks like Reinhardt just, you know, or, or dive tanks like Winston sh just causes Bastion to be, you know, pretty easy to play because you can't dive the bastion like you would and the bastion we'll does not have support so that is to think about yeah yeah so uh the last time zarya was banned was king's row where uh lunatic hide handily so we'll have to see how group two plays without that zarya once more All right. Well, definitely expecting to see some sort of doom, Forge's doom in general from a group that is in here. They will be attacking first. So we get to see if the defense first has any sort of trickery up their sleeves. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's been nice to see kind of what the teams are coming up with here. It doesn't change the game too much, right? It just changes it just enough. And something about hero bands, I think, Initiating it forces the teams to play a certain way, sometimes. And that comes down to what players are skilled, most sk sorry, <laughs> most skilled on what heroes. And if, if your team is just better at dive, then, you know, you win the map. Like, it's just, you have to... You have to see where your strengths are, and and doing that on the fly can be kind of difficult. But it's also fun. So, yeah, that's the goal the, here. Before all the setup here, we did and pork Torb on the defense Ready. that was being covered. So... Definitely not a real pick. I unfortunately, uh, well, possibly not the Torb, but it does seem like Hog is going to be the pick though. Hog. Interesting. Interesting. Definitely seen a lot of Arisa be run on the, through that choke and of the constant highest shield uptime of with the uh, the very very low cooldown on her 900 HP shield. Yeah, it's pretty nice to have that cooldown. When that buff came out, I was like, wow. Well, uh, maybe Arisa will be viable. Uh, maybe not. She has. She has her places. So they are going to run this pretty meaty front line here with the Orisa Diva Hog and a Widow. That. And we do have the bat. Bastion is here. Bastion's Bastion back, here. baby. A little bit of a pirate pirate ship coming. Uh, definitely going to need some very good, good shield management from Ronin against this Orisa. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And, and if you notice, they didn't hold on the high ground. They're holding through the choke where, you know, it's hard for Bastion to force them right off the high ground. Hog going, oh, this Ryan's out of... Look him, oh no, I'm being melted by a Bastion. So the Hog... <laughs> most Basically. of the DPS down for Lunatic. Uh, and now Ronan gets to run in to force him out. Hammond over here onto the supports. Arissa, very separated from her team, does have the... Widow back here, but Widow being dived by the Genji. Silverstack's actually picking up the ending kill. Meanwhile, the Bastion continuing to roll on this payload. Once again, gunning down the Hog. Uh, Hammond getting a few kills. It didn't really look like Lunatic High knew quite how to deal with that, despite having the initial pick on the Genji. Yeah, definitely a powerful play there. Bastion can be so... can be really strong. Um, especially with the Winston band. You know, Winston, Dive, Bastion... That's kind of how you counter this, but protect the Bastion. Group two wants to win here. Bastion will always be the best hero on the map. It just takes quite a 
but when he does start rolling, uh, the payload doesn't stop. Yeah. Uh, you know, it can be pretty fragile, right? Like, maybe he's... But it's not only fragile when you don't have... When you don't... When you have dive, like... Which we don't have. <laughs> so you and need to rely on your squishies to kind of take him out. Maybe a Sombra would be good here. Pack the Bastion. Dive in. I mean, yeah. they I mean you, can, you can hook him, but there's the... Immediately on him. They're just going to roll the Bastion ult as well with the Nano here to just... And this is one of the fastest payload pushes I've seen on Dorado in quite a while. 544 going into point three, and getting big comp swat to Kai here because what they've been rolling has not been working whatsoever. A Junkrat, that's a start. That is a good start. Let's get some shield break off. You know, they have some shield break with Hog as well. Here's a blade coming out from Deserti. Doesn't do too much. Uh, the Shatter a little bit too late to follow up on that blade, and the Hog pushing this away, and I think the Bastion train finally ends here. It was a good run. Uh, he's kept up. He's still... Oh my gosh, please kill the Bastion. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Silver, Silver Sack's keeping up Costanza as long as possible, but will eventually be taken out immediately here. Or will Silver they keep... Yeah, right? oh, man. They will keep on them. I think they want to build up to the alt here. Um, they have enough shield break. Uh, they don't really have enough shield break at all, but, you know, 80%, a couple of other alts. They have the tra They do have the trans to get the Bastion back on the payload, possibly. Uh, but they will have to watch out for that anime, so. Yeah, I think Winston's definitely going to try... Or, uh, Hammond is definitely going to try to go for a space-making alt here. Yep, here go the mines, along with the support alt. He's going to try to get some picks. Takes down the main tank, K-Boogie, and Cypher. There's three down on um, Lunatic High. Ultimate coming out, kind of saving, just getting Silver Sacks, but too many people are on the point. Uh, Big Daddy 2 going for the okay. last stitch second. And there's the cap from Group 2 and their Bastion. Very, very well up to the Bastion and get him back on the payload with the space making and a minefield. So, well done by them. Initiating match. Dang. That's a blistering time. Over four. Yeah. They with more time than they started it with. <laughs> I didn't even think about that, but it's so true. And, and, and you know, it's, uh, you saw on Hanamura that they did not cap last point when they had a whole minute more. So maybe it won't matter. And we'll see an even faster time from Lunatic High. Faster time would not be losing a single fight because uh, there, there was only one fight loss from Group 2 that whole time. Only, only perfection can beat uh, Group 2's run. Well, Group 2, you're just so close to perfection, it's not even funny. Uh, they're going to run... They like this Bastion. If, if you couldn't deal with it on offense, how are you going to deal with it when we're on defense with it? And yeah. it, Lunar would take high like the Bastion so much, like, hey, that's good. We should run it too, but this time... <laughs> Let's do it with a real pirate ship and a tor. Hey, we got the perfect. We got the, uh, we got the uh, battle payload rolling in. Oh, this is, man. This is going to be a... I mean, it's going to be down to who fires first. They do have the mercy damage boost here, which can be huge, versus the defense matrix. Uh, Dork, not actually behind the shield. He goes down to Costanza. Uh, yep, don't worry, don't worry. Strong. You got the res. You got the res. You got the res. You got the res. Bastion's still up. That shield's gonna get shredded. They may have to back off, uh, but they might get a pull of the choke and force them to rotate. Oh, but the Bastion goes down. There goes the DPS, and the big purple as well means that the Diva is going to get the mech from uh, Group 2, so there goes that uh, damage denial. out, But the Bastion is still up, though, so they're not. the payload's not gonna go any farther than this for right now. Yeah, this is a pretty good spot to get it to here, but it, you know... It's oh, right the Zen the gets pulled are. by the Halt. 
That was oh, you. Oh no. So without the Discord now, they might be able to do something. But here comes the tank ult to possibly prevent. And he's going to be Dork with his third death already a minute into this game. Mercy uh, helping him out get that death score up. Yeah, and, and if you see here, Jaharo on D.Va is able to dive the Bastion, which is how they lost Dork uh, on Bastion like the third time after the res, is he was able to, he died, but he was able to prevent that Bastion from breaking the opposing shield. And, and that's pretty good. You know, that's something important there. Here comes a Nano Blade trying to take out the tanks. Here's a big purple Dork not being able to be healed. Uh, just Dork really going down. And Jaharo on high ground, Mercy down, Elodian down, Arisa this, down. This is a lost fight. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, the sleep on D30 is going to mean that the Genji is going to go down at the tail end of that. However, that is another fight win. It's going to be a while before he gets back to the fight, though. So a momentary 6v5 advantage for the attacker of that Bastion. Uh, tired of dying on that uh, full comp swap, so we're going to have a Genji Sombra along with a Reinhardt now to push into this. And the D.Va, who has been here, but I think they're going to be able to coordinate the dive much more easily here with Sombra, Genji, Lucio, and D.Va all diving on that Bastion and that backline. Well, they've so only got a we'll minute see. 30 to make it work, though. Yeah, they just have to get to the first point. Looks like they're going to wrap around here. Trying to, you know, take the stairs, get on the high ground. Oh, Dork goes down. Oh. Genji's behind them. He's gonna be on that back line. D30 is already on the Reinhardt. Oh, way in there, dashing in. Let's get out to be healed and, and gets back to the team with the pick. Like, hey, I won that fight. <laughs> uh, we've only got uh, about one more to go. Yeah, one or two more fights left, but Kabuki got demacked, and he's not going to die anytime soon, so uh, we'll see. They're sticking here on the high ground, but it's only three of them. Ryan and two healers. Oh, oh the fire strike on Silver Set. Ults being thrown out left and right. The Diva Bomb landing right next to Constanza to go down. The hack onto the Genji means he won't be able to blade it to potentially finish to win this fight, and Nathan's going to shatter just to make sure that they get this point, and they will end up capping this point, but only with left. I'm interested to see... Oh, that dagger there. I'm interested to up now, because they're definitely sticking on him. still has tank gold. He does. I don't know. The Bastion can kind of sit on the high ground here. Um, it's almost like an uphill push on every section, you know, around this corner, the first corner that they're on right now, it's uphill. No one really holds there. Uh, but on the bridge, they're going to have Bash and Orisa. Oh, but Bastion gets oh, pulled no. off the high ground. Hook down, drop, drop, save your Bastion. They do end up having the drop, and they're going to blow a tank ult now. He's starting taking out Nathan on the Rhine. The EMP into Blade, potentially huge, but the tank ult was already going, just blasting Dorg out immediately there. And that's going to be that ult combo shut down by the ult. D30 gets hooked right at the end there. It doesn't really matter. It gives Kabuki some ult charge. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's a lost fight, but Lunatikai is going to come back strong. It's definitely not a lost fight. More of a stalled fight than anything. Nathan here wanting to get all the flanking Roadhog as well. It's madness in group 2's flanks. Uh, the blade is eat so definitely worth from D30 there and that flank push in all happens so fast able to deal with it yeah that even I missed that to be honest um, at one point it was like three people died and then Ludic I had the advantage so it's just it's just that easy folks Jaharo getting staggered once again at the end of a fight. They are going to pop Supercharger here to, to not ready for that damage boost. The Reinhardt going down as well, also being purple. Costanza will die to the Sombra, but more ults being thrown out here. And pretty impromptu after the Diva going down. The Nano Genji just trying to build Blade up here. We'll get hooked at the end of that and goes down. Group 2 will be falling back in retreat. Yeah, I, I think that was a pretty good hold. You know, the damage boost took out the Reinhardt, but it failed to also take out 
against the Roadhog, which I think has, who has done, he's done a lot of work um, just now. Uh, yeah, the Roadhog. Could, this could be big. big. It, is, it is big. You know, you see pro players make massive diva bombs. You see, you know, like four, four KOs. But a two K, a two K on a diva bomb is zoning and KOs. So that's just super good. Uh, it, it's really allowed them to hold this last point. It also, if you look, Elodian is here alone on last, trying to get a little pick. Oh, that D max not good though. Yeah, no, that she needs to walk back to the spawn. Uh, if she yeah. has time. She doesn't have, have time to walk back to the spawn. They're just gonna have to now. Definitely looking for some type of. And uh, it's just going to get blown up by the shotgun from Roadhog. But the shatter, the blade picking up one. Still flanking around. Nathan going very ham from the shatter. Well, end up taking out Pick Dog as well. Oh man, looks like Lunatic Kai is getting the picks that they need. Can Costanza pull through along with Hammond? Oh, the, the B. You trying to extend this fight? I don't know about that. It's just the three of them here right now. Sombra is getting back to the fight to contest, but the, the Pog being Discord is going to go down as well. Not having a tank presence, this is going to be very blade. It's going to try to make something happen. There's two, both supports down, going after the tank now, he's low. Hammond's coming in with the bounce, because Danza kind of forcing Hammond around. And the main tank is down, just Doomfist and Genji left. Uh, this spawn advantage may be able to save them. Hammond has a lot of health. They might be able to stall till OT, but I really don't see them winning this fight. That mine placement is not, not quite there. Nine. Focus, focus the Anna. She's low. She was purpled. Kill her. No, she got, got Anna Nate herself now. But Constanza and everyone else coming back, it looks like they saw um, coming down on to point. Isn't it forcing them all into awkward scenarios? It ports are going to get shattered on the payload. Lucio's going to go down from that and it looks like group two is going to be able to clean this up with the surty coming in with the blade as well the the, the trance as well and it looks so mean that group two once they take out the hammond and i don't think any lunatic high is here on the genji does pick up one miracle plays happening maybe gets two there's no way no just lucio here looking to stall maybe go for that c9 going for the beat doing everything he can Sombra coming back, not with ultimate. And there's the map. Group two takes it with the Bastion wow. defense. Wow, I'm super impressed that they were all able to come back from spawn there. Hammond with that stalling prowess, able to get everyone back into that fight with their ults that they had not used before oh they died. Oh my gosh. Well, that was definitely fun to watch there at the end. A little bit of, you know, Bastion can be a little, a little bit of a sneeze fest, but um, definitely made it entertaining once we got to the nitty gritty. Five. We're going to map five. That's exciting. Yeah, map five, just like I wanted to see. Um, man, uh, that that blade by Dork was really good on the flank, the one we saw for the play of the game. And I, I think it probably was the thing that gave them the chance to push as far as they did. Oh, for sure. Without that, it just would not have worked out. So, and, and we're right. doing King of the Hill. Yep, King of the Hill tiebreaker. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Trading maps back and forth. Each team winning on their map picks. Uh, if all goes as it has been going, the Lunatic High should win this map five. But after so many counter picks, you've got to be running out of maps a little bit here. No, they're not. They didn't pick the Koth map, so they do get their Koth pick of choice. Didn't they pick Lijiang? Uh, no, that was that was a uh, uh, pick. Oh, that was group two. All right. Yes, yes. I see how it's working now. Yep. A little bio break. I've uh, been playing for a while now. Uh, sort out maybe any sort of nerves that you might have going into map five as well. So, on the uh, can't ban Diva, can't ban Zarya. We're going to have those. Mm -hmm. What? Do you take out the other tanks as well now? Or what? Well, does do Diva Zarya work good? Like together? They're both not, off tanks? Not really, right? Not like, really, no, no. So you can't ban ban both main tanks unless you want to see Orissa. Um I think that Lunatic High is probably oh they probably might want to prevent group two from running any more Bastion strats if Ronin is still in here. 
and um, potentially, so I think they might ban. They might just ban Bastion, <laughs> to be honest. Bastion so they have uncaught? so they have normal normal games. Bastion on Koth. Really have to worry about that? Do you really have to worry? No, Koth? you don't. You don't. That would be some really weird strats. I feel like if you pick the correct Koth, they because they also have map pick. Like you they should do. be able to like dictate a lot of the hero picks just off of that. So yeah. poss possible Koth already. We could go to Paul. I say out of all the Koth maps, that may be the one where you're most likely to see the Bastion. So I doubt you see that. Oasis? Well, Oasis Maybe. is pretty divey. So you can't ban D.Va. Maybe. So, you know, if they want to prevent dive, they're not going to, you know, they'd ban Winston. But they're not going to go to, a, they're not going to choose Oasis and ban Winston. That'd just be awkward, right? They they know they have a maybe they know they have a good dive team. It seems like they have in the past because they've had Adam. Is that Adam's on Lunatikai, right? I don't know. Anyways, anyways, it, again, it comes down to what they're most most confident on. If they believe they they can run pirate ship on King of the Hill. They don't ban Bastion. If if they want to run dive, you know they they know Diva can't be banned. They ban Reinhardt, right? So so they can't run goats. They can't run. They're forced to run dive. And if they know they can out dive, they want to they want to do clash the dives there, and, and that that could make things awkward for group two because just ban that their Reinhardt just ban the Reinhardt and you and you go and you go from there maybe. Yeah, you ban Reinhardt and you ban. And then um, what who, would who, who, who does group two counter pick then oh. if you ban Ryan? Ban the like ban a dive DPS or something? Mm, maybe ban a dive DPS. I think you just ban the Winston then and play Arissa. Yeah, that makes sense. Force, force it out. Like they showed they weren't super great at dealing with it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. A lot of it will do, will be decided up, but like we just we just need some information going on here that feels like it'll be all erased as soon as the map pick in the first band comes out. Yeah, we can only spectate so or spec speculate there so much. Um, yeah, they haven't pulled the map, so <laughs> no. And they are milking that break for all it's worth. Fine. It's, you can, you can, taking breaks is good. Got to yeah. gotta reset the mind, think about things, get up, walk around. Now, all that good stuff. Yeah, so if you aren't aware, we're taking a little five-minute break just so everyone can play for so, you know, playing for so long, as we said. Uh, just a couple minutes left here. Uh, I'm going to dip out for just a half second. So I'll be right back. All right. Uh, hold the fort down. Oh, I, I got this. I got... Mm, I'm, I'm just excited this has gone to uh, game five. That's very exciting for me. Uh, all right, we can do that. We can we can go for a little bit of a break ourselves. I don't want to be trying to find things to talk next two, three minutes. So we'll catch you guys when this map five is starting.
traveling to Nepal. All right, guys, we are back. We're heading to Nepal here with Overwatch Pretenders. Game 5, tiebreaker, all-star map, all-star game, all-star players. It is the place to watch Hero Ban pickup game style competitive Overwatch. Isn't that exciting? It is. What's more exciting is that Lunatic High has brought us to Nepal, which feels like it could be a Bastion map, but seeing that, they have from Group 2, and Group 2 is something cool, and banned Anna. So... Oh, no. Okay, alright, I was gonna... No. I was about to say, Lunatic High is just gonna go back. Alright, Anna's banned. Let's just turn Moira Goats. But it looks like it's not gonna be quite that. They will have the Moira Lucio with a Farah? And a hawk? No. All right. Well, that's it's that's, gonna be that's goats. Slam. That it's not good. That's slambulance, not goats. Goats includes the Brigitte. That's slambulance. Quad. Slambulance, my favorite new name for a team comp that I've heard. Well, I, I I was pretty sure that was the name for it back before Brigitte existed. But anyway, from the opposite side, we're gonna have a farmer C and a hawk. So poking into this slambulance, so that's going to be very good for them if they can keep their Rhine and Zarya up is the question though, and it looks like they might be able to do that. Zarya very low, getting chased down by the Reinhardt is going to go down, and it looks like the damage was just not there fast enough from the Hanzo. Zarya getting kind of pulled out here on her own. Um, geez, yeah, no, Zarya overextended quite a bit here. I think she had her protection from Reinhardt, who was right behind her for a little bit, but he knew when No, this comp decision from Lunatic, well, healing from Moira, and there's no longer an Ana to purple us. This is completely ideal. The dragon going to split off the team a little bit, but got the Hog and Diva that were split off, and the Mercy is going to get picked off as well. Um, uh, it doesn't look like they're able to find anything. The Trans and B are going to be countered, and yeah, trading tanks a little bit with the Shatters going down. This might be going in Group 2's favor a little bit with the very high charge. Sorry, they're trying to shoot in. It's not going to be there to take out the tanks, though. Hog is here, trying to shoot that Lucio. Here's here's uh, Diva back in her tank. Oh man, yeah, Lunatic High just getting back to the point before Group 2 can kill them. That that Graviton stalled out them being killed. And we got Brigitte here on Group yeah, 2's side. Looks like this... they're going to play some goats. Yeah. Yeah. They're realizing the sustain from this quad tank comp is just too much for them to deal with. So, I'm going to match a meaty comp with a meaty comp. So, we're just going to run goats into you and show you why this overtook this quad tank comp that you're running right now. Here comes the Diva Bomb, kind of on the back line, gets the Winston and Crypto taking out D30 on, on Brigitte. 85% is... here. If Group 2 can get to the point, this will be their last fight. Uh, I don't even know if they're going to be able to get it back to the point because their Reinhardt dying at 88 is personally not a good look. They're going to have to run in without a Reinhardt protecting them against this quad tank damage coming out and with the whole, whole hog as well that's going to be even more damage the moira ult in there into the grab as just everything coming in but the trans is going to keep enough people up for a long time enough for the hog to go down the beat is going to keep the rest of the squad tank comp up the lucio very weak on health there but the supports from group two will be going down instead and it looks like lunatic high is going to be able to clean up this fight at the end I saw a glimmer of hope when the Shatter came out there from Ronin, but they weren't able to capitalize, and Lunatic High just had too many alts left. Eh, you know, that's how it goes. They got the early advantage, and, and it just rolled from there. You know, with tanks, you want to steamroll your alts, and alts just make this game kind of like that sometimes. We've got some semantics arguing about uh, Slambulance versus play goats. We play quad. A tank. 
but they're both comps that just run at you and hold W, so the game plan's the same. And it looks like uh, they're going to swap off of the Slambulance into a May Reaper on. Two heroes that you don't see a whole lot, but on this point, is definitely one of their most picked maps. Yeah, I've seen Reaper here a fair amount. Looks like they're going to walk right to the point while Group 2 is on the high ground, being forced to, to meet them there. Getting with May walled off. No deaths yet. There goes D30 on Brigitte. Someone looking for a flank here on the Reaper. Reaper, Reaper gets rid of them. Uh, Zarya. Reaper goes down. So oh, guy taking the point. I don't know about that. That Rhine Charge being a little bit too aggressive. A May wall will have to be big here to save this point for them. But Discord on the May is the focus there to take her out. Forces the ice block, so that means the rest of the team is going to be focused while she's in there. And it looks like off of that aggressive Rhine Charge, Tikai is going to lose this point. Oh, Lessons being committed to this. I'm not quite sure about this one. That was a pretty interesting fight there. I, I think maybe there was some... Maybe Cypher's just switching? Yeah, yes, Cypher's switching to Zenyatta. Well. Uh, I, don't, I think the comp was fine, but... ...with that comp, so we're gonna have some good old... ...Goats v... ...Mirrors and comps. Goats v Goats! Let's go! Well, this will be, this should be, oh gosh, the Reinhardt getting blasted out with the Discord as well there. The Brigitte is going to go down, but in Rhine versus no Rhine, you should win those fights as group two, unless you overextend a little bit. You don't die there, you do not have the shield. The beat is going to save them in the grab. The grab in by Dork, and now this is just everywhere. Yeah, group two is on the point here. Um... And, and Lunatic High is just not able to group up. The Shatter has been blocked. Uh, Zarya is just sitting on the point. And Diva Bomb goes off, gets Cryptic and K-Boogie. Both tanks going down, you know, still just Diva left. Rally here coming out. They're going to have strong next fight with all their armor. And their respawns are up. And they're going to try to fight another day. We got one yeah. ult coming out. And not just Shatter coming out from Ronin. He's not even that close. So, yeah. if they get some kicks with their DPS, which, you know, are tanks, um, might be, kinda, might, be, might, be, might be able to happen here. Here comes oh, the Shatter the, from Ronin. Trans is going to counter that immediately. If they can keep Ronin up after being charged, that would be big. He's slowly getting healed up as there's not a lot of burst healing with this no Anacom. The Brigitte is going to be taken down. The grab damage. The damage is the Ronin swinging in there, getting the triple is going to pick up K-Boogie as well. The, the bomb not getting as many people as it needed to, and that is going to be point two going over to group two. Point two, group two. We've heard that before. Yo, it's, it's almost some back home sweet home. <laughs> Welcome home to the land of goats, where the hills are grassy, and the players are sassy. That's a little weird to be on the Paul and saying that, but uh, maybe maybe something different coming out from the teams on a map that has um, Enviro kills to work with. Maybe we yeah, do have no. the Arissa. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Arissa Hog is totally viable on this map, so maybe we won't see goats, which we are seeing anyways. No, looks like uh, Group 2 is going to run Shield Break alongside Orisa, And hopefully they will break up those tanks and not get goats out. Um, yeah. Well, Enviro kills to do those because uh, Group two, Lunatic High running the Moira healing. No, going to be an Ana to uh, purple them and counter the Moira. So if you see how the positionings here have rotated, uh, Lunatica has walked all the way around, and Group 2 is on the high ground across from the point. So, Goats has the point, sort of. But well, they're, they're scared of the environmental all, kills from Hog and Arisa. And Lucio. Fire. Taking a lot of poke at them. I mean, yeah, the jump is the putting a lot of work into that room. Oh, and the Dragons <laughs> gonna, does pick up the, uh, the Brigitte. Silversack's picking up the Zarya and Dragon just kind of like a smoke bomb in there, flushing them all out. 
Yeah, that's a pretty good play, forcing them to stay in that house. They have both Junkrat spam, and then of course they had the uh, the timely dragons for only letting Lunaticai get about 30% on the point. It's not goes terrible, over not good, but it's always interesting to see where teams set up. Forward. Like we have a dive hold, switch but... here. Oh, a dive switch? You have no, dive goats. Oh, dive goats. All right, I could see that. I don't know how how well that's going to go into a Junkrat and Orisa Hog, but we'll down, so this is their chance to go in. The Trans almost getting knocked off the point there, but Silverstack's able to save it right at the end. Costanza picking up the tire kill as well, and the ult advantage is definitely going to be in favor of Group 2 switch. So... The next fight going over to Group 2 and surpassing Lunatic High in percentage now and taking the lead on our final map of this series in Game 5. Yeah, it's going to be exciting to see. Can Lunatic High bring it back around? They need to win a couple more fights here. Uh, they are doing their old, good old rotation that they did, we saw on first point. But Junkrat has spotted them. Winston wrapping around towards the Mega Kit. They're going all the way around. All the way around it. Not Trying able to, to get it. This, the Moira getting hit by a grenade being going pretty low. They're not fighting on point though. This rotation from Group 2. Um, out again, focusing down the Arisa and Hog. The Hog getting bounced all around. Is the Beats going to counter the Dragon as well? Not quite yet with all this healing on either side. The Hog all pushing Diva and it's going to get some kills. But Big Daddy Tube on the Boop is going to get two kills. The uh, kills trading everywhere as the Tire gets. It's two as well, and now it's just a few left on point. It looks like a rat and a Lucio from group two. Probably not going to be enough damage to deal with this Winston Moira. Well, a pretty good push there from Lunatic High. That was you know, one of their last fights, given how long the fight took. Uh, they're going to have to hold it, and they have dive tanks, so it might be difficult, but they do have good healing in they their do. triple healers. And they also have grab bomb. It's very hard to push out with this Orisa as well, unless the Lucio gets picked off, so that is some healing going down there. The trans again from Silver X has this up almost constantly. The Diva Bomb, not quite the... Ronin is going to be taken down, and the main tank being down is absolutely huge. Hanzo gets taken out on point, and this is going to be a lost fight for Group 2. They had a good initial rotation there with their two two players splitting off, um, but they weren't able to take advantage of their surprise attack, I think, and um, get the picks that they needed despite both being heroes, Lucio and Roadhog, that can take advantage of the environment. Maybe they should have timed it better or just been a little more sneaky. Uh, but they did get they did get them their they get did get the pressure taken off of their team. So that was one thing that was good. Well, the tire is going to pick up its one kill that's always low to do. Is pushing out this damage, but the coalescence kind of countering back. Uh it doesn't look like the damage is quite here. Zarya by herself, it looks should be slowly focused down on point, is going to get booped off by the and the, the beat just so much heal to this. In, but the trans being countered is currently 4v5 on point. The beat's going to help uh, try to live through this grab, but everyone's in there. The damage is there to follow up on the grab, and it looks like this will be Lunatic High taking the final map on Sanctum and winning the All Stars game 3 to 2. Well, they won their map pick, all right, and their hero they, bands, as predicted. They, they did. About winning map one in the end, right? So it just yep. came. And uh, you know, well, it's the coin flip, right? So. See the swinging into a grab. Feels good. Getting a lot of damage out there. Shield the uh, bomb and finish up with a cleanup kill. But a uh, solid series from both teams back and forth the whole way. And just a, on a whole, super enjoyable to watch. Yeah, really great. Really great, you know, energy from both teams. Really great, you know, play from both teams. They gave it their all, you know, they played Bastion, but it's not like it wasn't a good idea. It, based on hero bands and based on the team comps and the players they had, Bastion worked really well, you know? So it, it, it wasn't totally a crutch. It was 
plan I mean, that was, strategy. That was a good ban from Lunatic High picking out the Bastion because I feel like the Bastion might have been able to do quite a bit of work against that comp if played properly. So the ban's definitely coming into all sorts of strategy as we'd like to see when we're trying a new kind of format here. So uh, that's going to be all from us for... That's the end of uh, any Season 2 stuff for Overwatch Pretenders. Uh, we will see you guys back here for the free agent scrims in the coming week. Uh, uh, yeah, we're going to have more free agent scrims here, taking you know our new players, forming new teams, and trying to fill out our roster. Uh, there's some big changes coming to Overwatch Pretenders, and if you want to check that out, we have a Discord server. Uh, which is Overwatch Pretenders. It's open invite. Follow us here on Twitch TV. There's a YouTube channel, Overwatch Pretenders. Uh, I'm Moshi Man, and my partner in crime here has been Sly. So anything you want to shout out for us, Sly? Uh, also follow the Twitter for Overwatch Pretenders. Get notified of all the streams when they go live. And I think that's it for us today. Yeah, we appreciate appreciate everyone who came out and watched for coming out, you know, we're always around and you'll be able to talk with us in discord if you join up we're a league all about learning and getting better and you know being part of a team even at a low rank so all these players are below masters so if that if that changes your your mindset you know check us out we'll see you around thanks for watching see you guys later guys <laughs>